welcome to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be testing out creating my own gradient fine tuned model. I already have my gradients here, and I'm going to go ahead and upload this to Leonardo AI to create my own model. If you guys want to create your own model like this, I'll be leaving the model information and link access in the description box down below. If you want to go ahead and purchase it, I'll be leaving this some fine tuned model information in the description. So let's go ahead and start. I'm going to go over here to AI image generation fine tuned models. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to my models. Now, I already have a few models created. I'm going to create another one. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to go over here, click training and data sets and click new data set. Now you guys can do this exact same thing when you get the gradient uh, or the different kind of models that I currently offer on my website. But you can first begin by giving this a name. I'm going to call this gradients test or gradients one. Let's call that. Um, and I'm going to call this gradients in square format, just like that. And then I'm going to hit create data set. Now I'm going to go over here to all my gradients and just copy them and drag and drop them here. All 19 of them are going to be uploading. And this is my first gradient set. So obviously there's a lot of things that, you know, I could do here, but I'm just going to go ahead and click train model. Now, um, I'm going to call this once again, gradients one that's my model and the description is first set of gradients and then i'm going to put here 19 because i have 19 different versions and then the instance prompt is going to be a gradient and i'm going to leave that the way it is i'm going to leave here the base model the way it is general i'm going to go into uh let's see here we have product design textures ui elements vector I think I'm going to go for textures. I'm going to put it in the textures. Um, and that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and hit start training. So now it's going to train, and I could always view the status of how it starts training. So it's doing its thing now, and it's just time for us to sit back and wait and see what happens once it's all over. Guys, so I just got email notification from Leonardo AI that the model is ready to use. And FYI, I did create some while I was waiting for my other video to export. And this is going to be awesome. So check this out. So over, I go over here to training and data sets. And you can see here that the training data set is done. It's completed. So I can go over here now and I can click on uh, the fine tune models. And I go to that fine tune model. And I'm just going to go over here and click view. All right, so I already did create images with this. I know it says zero images here, but I did create images. I'm going to click generate with this model. You can see here I created some images already. These were from old photos, but you can see here this is the first one I created, and the prompt was super, super simple. It was literally just a gradient that is rainbow colored. That's it. And because of that, I created this awesome rainbow colored gradient, and it's completely mine to use and monetize to make money off of, and I have ownership over it more importantly. And I want to show you guys the difference between the upscaled and the regular. So the original is like this, which is a little imperfection right here. It's like almost looks like a bubble. But once I upscaled it, guess what? All that is gone, and it looks a little bit different. It looks really, really good. So that's a first example. The second example was a gradient that's, and I wrote purple and blue, which is not even English. A gradient purple blue. You could literally see here. And then it says um, here it shows the actual gradient, and you could see amazing from pink to blue to this purplish color to even a lighter purple back to pink. So really, really good. And the original image looked like this. So it did have some imperfection. The blue was a little smaller, but after upscaling, it made it a lot better. Now, something that I would say with Leonardo, it's kind of like a hit or miss. When you upscale images, you really just don't know how they're going to turn out. And these turned out really, really good. Uh, the next one I did was a gradient that's light purple to dark. And so this is the image that I like the most. So I'm just going to go ahead and go over here and hit upscale. Now, keep in mind, guys, these, these are gradients that I could legally use. They're completely mine, created from scratch, right, using a model that I created myself. So this is pretty cool. And um, I can even add different you know, all kinds of different crazy stuff to my models to train them, to make them better. This is just super cool. So the next one I'm going to do here is I'm going to write a light purple gradient. Uh, let's see here. Let's do a yellow, yellow to orange gradient. And by the way, guys, look at this. After this image has been upscaled, looks really, really good. 
in my opinion. Like, you see the difference between this one and this one? I think I like that. I'm also going to go over here, and I'm going to upscale one of these. I think I'm going to go for the darker one, and I'm going to upscale this. Let's go ahead and upscale this just so we can see how it will look. And I'm going to go over here, and let's go ahead and see what's going to happen. Now, I actually do like to create variations of the images so we can see the different variations. Now, if you if you look at this very, very closely, you can see how there's like a uh, very light portion here then it's like darker i'm not sure if the screen recorder is picking this up but this as well this has uh some color to it um these are even better look at this so here we have orange light and then orange again here we have blue orange green right then we have some orange slash yellow and then green or or whatever this is blue or indigo or turquoise i don't even know what the name is but i can upscale this as well i'm gonna upscale this now i'm gonna go ahead and take a look at this that's upscaled where was the image that i upscaled i know i upscaled it here all right so this is the upscaled image really not my cup of tea like you could see there are some some images that i'm gonna like and some images that i'm not gonna like so this is really cool the, to have the ability to create your own own gradients like this I think is pretty cool um, And you guys know I, I use gradients all the time for my YouTube thumbnails for everything like that So this was an awesome gradient. I just created too uh, Overall, I'm really happy with the results and I think this is pretty cool. So let me know what you guys think and um, Let me go ahead and upscale these as well. So I'll upscale this I like that, and I'll upscale this, and then we'll see what the final results are. And tell me which gradient is your favorite. I actually, I really like this one. I like this one the way it came out. Um, I like this the way it came out. Um, so many I like, right? Uh, just, yeah, I mean, I'm speechless. There's nothing I could really say other than that. Uh, something that I do want to test is these have all been on the lowest quantity count step. So if I improve my steps of quantity, how good are these are these gradients actually going to get? And I also want to go over here to the in to guide scale and increase the guide scale to something like a 10, right? So that's a quick experiment we're going to run right now. So a gradient from yellow to orange was, was these, right? And this was the, the, the gradients after upscaling. We got this one, this one. Let's see here. Did it upscale? Yeah, it upscaled. Okay, so now we increase the step count. We increase the guidance scale. Check this out. Let's go ahead and hit generate here. The cool thing about this upscaling thing is that with Leonardo, I've trained it on a 512 by 512 dimension set. So it doesn't cost as much tokens as it normally would have. And I'm curious what see the results are going to be right now. So from yellow to orange. All right, so we got some different results here. There is some purple, some blue. I like this. Let's go ahead and this is what this is gonna come out really good through upscaling. I could just tell. This one, I don't know. I don't know about the color combos. Let's give this one a shot. Let's upscale this. And um let's go to uh yellow, let's say a bright yellow. Let's be a little bit more specific. Bright yellow to a to a candy orange. Let's let's say that. Candy orange color. And let's hit generate. Okay, now these are, once again, a little more detail, but look how this one came out. Phenomenal, phenomenal colors, the blue here, and the purple in the middle, just really good. I like the way that came out. And uh, we'll see how the other one upscales here. We got some other upscaled images. All right, we got some cool stuff here, so I know these two are going to come out good, even this one. This one, I'm not going to mess with anything with the lines in the middle. Uh, I have to, you know, I'm going to personally just step away from but upscale this image upscale this image and upscale this image then what i'm going to do now is now that i like that setup i'm going to go over here and use this for the image to image right and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go here and i'm going to write um bright rainbow bright rainbow uh, a gradient uh, bright rainbow or let's go rainbow color. Let's copy the ex you know what? Let's copy the exact same prompt So a gradient that is rainbow colored. There we go. Copy that just like this Okay Just like that and then boom And I'm gonna add the word actually I was gonna add the word bright. Let's go ahead and do that Why not? Let's take a risk bright rainbow colored and what I'm going to do this time is, since I like this image, the way it came out, let's go ahead and create eight different variations, and we'll leave it at that. And while that's taken care of, let's look at the other images that are created. So this was the upscaled gradient here. Then we have this one. 
this was not upscaled. This one was upscaled. I like this one as well. And uh, these are pretty cool. You can use these for print on demand. You could use them for just online marketing. Maybe you're using them in your graphics. You can resell them. Uh, you can do a lot of different things. There's this guy on YouTube. I forgot what his name was. I think his name's Ollie or something. Um, oh, look at these rainbow gradients. Amazing. Tons of different rainbow gradients here. Look at these. You can see how they change in color. All right. And uh, I like the one, let's see, with this, with this, um, with a lot of blue here. I like that. So let me go ahead and upscale this. I just love the rainbow color. Like, it just, to me, it's so appealing. Reminds me of Skittles, but um, who doesn't love Skittles? I know I do. Uh, but uh, getting off topic here. But my point is, there's this guy named uh, Ali or whatever his name is, and he sells wallpapers for $50 a piece. Uh, and they're just gradients. That's all they are. They're just gradients of different you know, color schemes like this, and, uh, yeah, he's a savage for being able to do that, that's pretty cool, and this, this is upgraded, look at that, beautiful, all these are really, really good, honestly, um, and to me, it's just amazing, so, what I want to do now is I want to find a crazy gradient online, like, just crazy gradient, and see, like, see what can come out of it, you know, and use it for a picture-to-picture kind of thing, so here, Let's see what we got here. We got all kinds of different colors. I don't want to pick something like this. Let me go. Um, give me a minute, guys. I'll do some research. You guys won't necessarily notice it, but I'll do some research and I'll come back with something. Found this image here that's not a gradient. It's pretty crazy looking, but uh, I figured let's go ahead and give this a shot and try it out in the system and see what comes up. In the meantime, if you see here, the last images were these rainbows that we created. In the meantime, I created this this one here, where all I did was add the word swirl to the prompt, right? Add the word swirl. And I got all these kinds of crazy different results now. And if I upscale these, they're all going to be perfect. Like, for example, this one. I'll go ahead and upscale this. And let's go for it. And also, if there are some who are wondering, like, for example, there's like a little blemish here or whatever, I'm not really worried about that because the upscaling proved that it can work you know, even if there's a blemish, it will fix itself. So that's something that I really, really like um, with this. Also, with these gradients, any kind of blemish that's in there, they're easy to fix manually, right? You can hop into GIMP, clean it up, you know, make it good looking. But overall, pretty cool. And um, let's go ahead and now try that crazy looking image, which is the swirl kind of thing. Now, what I will do is keep everything consistent, 512 by 512. I'll keep the step count at 60. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and keep. Um, I'll keep the I'll keep the guidance scale at an eight. Uh, the initial image strength I'll just leave it the way it is. Um, actually, I'll lower it a little bit because maybe we'll see what we can do here, and then I'll just click generate and see what happens. And here we have all right, so two variations. It's gonna create two variations, but this image is upscaled. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Look how cool that is. We can clean that up for sure. Let's see the original image. Okay, that's how the original image looked, the upscaled image. And then here we have this upscaled image right here. And you can see here, the upscaled image here looks absolutely perfect. Not even a single blemish or error with it. Now let's go ahead and see how this worked. So this came out pretty decent, I would say. Uh, the I'm actually surprised it came out this good because I thought it could be a little bit worse. But um, it's pretty cool. Now if I decrease the image, the initial strength a little bit less... I want to give that a shot, and I want to go with four variations, and we'll give that one more shot. So basically what I did here, guys, was decrease the initial strength. Now, what I'm doing this, and I'm testing this live and showing you guys this, is all for the fun of it, just trying to learn, you know, how basically these different iterations change the photo. And you can see here from this whole situation, I came out with a bunch of different gradients that I could use, that I could make money off of, that I could resell, and there we go. So this is the initial strength image decreased. You can see here now that these look even better. And I'm just going to have fun real quick by upscaling this guy right here. Let's upscale him. And let's upscale this really harsh one. And let's upscale this really soft one. And when I say harsh and soft, if you look at these images, they're a little, the lines are a little more harsh. But I do like this swirly effect. And uh, by decreasing that image strength, once again, comes out really good. But uh, something that I'll iterate and say that if I was just on a normal setting... In stable diffusion, none of this would be able to happen, okay? It wouldn't come out properly. I created a model 
that studied the images that I gave it, and it was able to base something off of it. And here's a perfect example of how the original image, um, I don't know, looked better or worse, I'm not sure, but this needs to be cleared up, this needs to be cleaned up if I was to ever use this. Um, and I could always create variations of it. Let's see, this is the upscaled image of the, this is the original, this is the upscaled. In this case, the upscaled lo does look better. Um, and really, they manifest themselves differently once it's actually fully upscaled. So, it's pretty interesting to look at. This one, a little bit of a blemish there. Um, here, I'm not really sure why. But, once again, it looks good. What we can do is we can go over here. Let's see, we have edit in canvas. And I could go over here and I could try to edit this little feature right here. So, I can go over here, hit draw mask. And... You know, just cover this whole section up, something like that, and 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 see. I'm not too much of an expert with this, like drawing the mask thing. I'm sure there's a different feature here. I don't know. We'll give it a shot. I know I have to add a prompt. I can't generate without a prompt. But if I was just to say, I don't know, uh, even, evenly distributed distributed gradient and let's go ahead and fix that spelling of course right click okay and let's hit generate I don't think it's gonna do anything but we'll see I, it's not gonna come out with the right the right image that I want but yeah it, it does it did clean it up a little bit let's see this is one number two there we go I, I think out of all of these I would probably pick the third one definitely made it a little bit better compared to what it was. Um, but yeah, it would need a little more work to it, which is something I would need to work on. Maybe if I drag the step count a little bit higher and I would do this, let's see what let's see what comes out of it. Let's see here. Who knows? Might might come out good, might not. Yeah, so that's not ideal. That's a that's a little bit better. That's not ideal either, and that's not ideal. Um I probably would use the best case scenario for something like this, probably Adobe Illustrator, but you guys get the concept now of how it works. And uh, that's the cool thing about training these models is just making it better, making it come out look, you know, just straight up better and uh, producing better results. In the next video, um, I'm going to try different things, different results with this, these different models. And uh, once again, if you want to grab this model, I'll leave the link in the description. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. Bye.